Hello and welcome back to my channel, Show Wizards. I'm going to be doing uh, part two of this modding tutorial series of converting a map from Farming Simulator 17 over to 19. Uh, I want to work with the density channels for cultivation and foliage so I can actually get the fields um, somewhat set up on the map and also any kind of foliage um, for air the arable crops and root crops and whatever else potentially into the map so I have some kind of basis to set up um, those areas and then work around that and then <clears throat> that will give me an idea of you know the layout of the land and all the rest of it so you're going to need to work with the GRE converter this is 7.0.1 but it still works in my testing so far with converting the files over to work with 19 so what you need to do is a couple of different things uh, if you go into the map 02 folder for whatever map or map 01 to get the appropriate parts now like I said I'm going to be working with the cultivated density and the fruit density I said foliage density didn't I but it's actually fruit density um, to then convert those and bring them over into 19 so what I want to do is highlight both of those open up the GRLE converter folder here I'm going to drag both of those and copy them into here I'm going to close that down for now and then all you do here is just literally drag and drop these over the convert command <clears throat> and it will then convert those into PNGs for you like so, so we have a cultivator and then we're going to do the fruit density one like so, fantastic so I'm going to take both of those PNGs and I'm going to export those, I'm going to cut them I should say with control X and I'm going to bring them into the 19 version of this particular map the Thornbrook map so I'm going to go maps map Thornbrook and I'm going to then bring them into here so I'm going to paste them in like so uh, and it's quite important that you delete the cultivated density and the fruit density from this particular map you might want to actually before you um, delete them completely just cut them and perhaps maybe put them on your desktop or whatever else uh, paste so you've got them as a backup if all goes wrong <clears throat> now in farm sim 17 when you were working with um, converted density files um, you could literally just open up the map and it would read the png and away you went now in seven in 19 it doesn't work like that it actually reads the um, file type directly from the i3d and it it only looks at that particular file type it won't recognize the png unless you tell it it's a png so what you have to do is go into the i3d itself in notepad plus plus or whatever text editor you want to work with and then find the appropriate density channels there's one here and there's one here you might need to do a search for them um, just you know again control f and type in cultivator or fruit or just density or whatever else and then do a search for them but uh, for me luckily they're right at the top here so all you do is in here just change the gdm to png actually if it would help if i spelled it correctly and then we'll do the same with the fruit one here so if i change that one to png there we go and go ahead and save now when i open the map again in the editor it will recognize those PNGs <clears throat> and work with them if you don't change that file um, tag or association or whatever you want to call it file type from GDM to PNG it will not recognize them it will give you an error well several errors actually but you can see now by changing those all of the field layouts have been put in their appropriate places with the appropriate textures or fruit foliage whatever you want to call it all the grass is where it needs to be um, and everything else so it's basically brought everything that I need into this map layout which is really really good uh, that's going to work for me really really nicely and I can then work around these fields and work with them much easier um, and then change the geometry of various different things and whatever else but that again comes later on once I start bringing in buildings and whatever else I can then look at the other version, the 17 version, and start painting in my terrain textures and whatever else. That's kind of up to you how you want to work with this. You may want to potentially 
have the ground terrain texture um, all one color or whatever else or all one um, texture layer so you might want to pop perhaps maybe go over to uh, something like uh, grass rough and then paint all that down um, again that's up to you entirely uh, that might be an idea so you can go into your terrain detailed texture paint mode make your brush really really big make change it over to square possibly and then we'll type in something like a thousand and then literally just click on the left mouse button and drag I'm on smooth let's change that to add otherwise that's not going to work and we'll just click and drag and there we go so now we have changed the entire map over to grass rough like so or whatever you want to work with there but sometimes I find it easier to do that and then that gives you a good basis to go by and then when you start to paint in your other areas um, like um, you know your asphalt or your mountain rock or whatever else you know you can work with this and to have your you know your base around the outside of the map as just the grass rough or whatever you want to work with so that works for me really really well uh, I'm going to go ahead and save and again this will update the i3d and convert the PNGs over to GDMs so if I close that down we can go back into the map Thornbrook folder and you will now see I have a newly created fruit density GDM and a newly created cultivated density GDM again important to delete the PNGs that we use to create those because we no longer require those so we'll go ahead and delete them and then equally important we need to go back into the i3d and change those back over to GDM now as far as I'm aware leaving it at PNG will work uh, but I tend to like changing it back to its appropriate file type and that potentially will prevent any issues later on and then we go ahead and save and uh, just double check that that's worked and we reopen the map and just check for any errors or whatever else in the console here no errors everything is still showing up where it's meant to be fantastic no need to resave again we can just go ahead and close that down like so um, so I think for now then we're kind of at a point where we need to start getting some parts out of the old map or the 17 version of the map to work with so <clears throat> we'll open this up in the appropriate edit editor for that now there are going to be parts in here that uh, I know of will not at present time be compatible with 19 because they are using the M company script and we don't have that yet so um, that's not going to potentially work uh, things like the um, splines for the ponies and various other different things I'm pretty sure they're scripted so they're not going to work again as far as I know this particular script has not been converted over to 19 the old or the 17 version may work I don't know I haven't tested it yet again things like this will come later on uh, I won't won't be messing with those just yet I will get the map built up um, and make sure the base game functions work first and then uh, you know things like that can be experimented with later on so what I would do is I did actually experiment with just exporting the entire lot out in one go uh, as one transform group but because there was some issues with shaders uh, and the compatibility of shaders from 17 to 19 I had some issues with lighting and I also had some issues with trees and various other different things so you may find that uh, sometimes um, the trees trees from 17 will not convert over correctly to 19 I had some texture glitches um, and various other different things going on um, so again that might not necessarily be a possibility but uh, as far as buildings and things like that go I would say they should work okay um, so that's something you're again going to need to kind of work through uh, hopefully what I'm going to be showing in the video will help a little bit uh, so we can skip some places or some parts 
because uh, animals we're not going to be working with uh, in the actual map the gold coins or gold nuggets animal loading triggers all of these kinds of things are going to be played around the placeable system the animated objects uh, that's again going to be something that I will work with later on because there is potentially a way now um, of bringing in animal uh, animated objects <coughs> using the similar setup from 17 but the actual script has been changed or the name of the script has been changed so that's something again I'm going to work with later on um, farm silo again that is something is going to be around a placeable mechanic uh, so all of the triggers and things like that for the silos they're all going to be set around placeable stuff so I don't want to mess about those triggers again they're going to be around the placeable system so that's not going to be appropriate um, what is that uh, that's just decoration stuff uh, so you know these kinds of things you know that again could be done later on I would just work with the you know the the big stuff to to get a kind of idea of how the map is going to be laid out and various other different things like that so just work with some parts like that at the beginning to you know get um the map built up i'm trying to think of the word um the detailing of the map um i guess and then you know decorative stuff um can be brought in later on so we'll bring out the street pack and then kind of work with that a little bit it looks like there are some parts here you know, which have been separated um, so that's in a separate separate setup so again potentially here what I could do is the street pack and the roads I could export those out as one yeah let's do that so we'll just do that and then we'll just name it all the same thing that's fine doesn't matter so let's make a copy of that and we'll just export that out so export selection with files I'm going to go to my desktop create a new folder paste that into there and we'll open this up paste that into there save and I want to keep the parent directory structure yes so let's minimize that one down <clears throat> and then we're going to open this up so we have the street pack and the textures so there's not much there that's really good uh, and then we need to open this up in the editor for uh, 19 which is the 810 and just see what errors we get maybe none maybe some don't know uh, doesn't look like we have any errors so we'll just have a look and double check that they all show up correctly now sometimes when you convert stuff over from 17 because of the new UDIM system that is um, has been set up or created for FarmSim 19 when you bring items in it will look really really shiny uh, so what you might need to do or very metallic you might need to go into the material editing window and make sure the smoothness and metalness is set to zero uh, for everything because unless it's got a gloss map applied to it these sometimes can be set at a, a value higher than zero uh, because that's what the gloss map controls from my understanding um, but this has got no gloss map no shaders no nothing applied to it so that again is going to be good for me so you might need to go through go through look at all of your um, items your roads or buildings or whatever else and just double check that they are you know they look okay before you start bringing them into the map because it'll be easier to change stuff now and if it all goes peat tong you can just delete it and start again when you bring it into the map um, it will make it a little bit more difficult to uh, work with in my opinion so those look okay to me um, so I'm going to go with that that's fine don't need to save it because again there was no errors to start with so I can just close that down don't need to save like I say and then what I'll do is I'll bring up the FS19 version of Thornbrook and we'll just start adding some some parts in so again this is going to be up to you how you want to do this um, from looking through the FS17 version of Thornbrook Lancy Boy has done a really really good job of keeping all of the textures uh, in a single folder here the textures folder everything is in here so there's not much um, that needs to be changed and manipulated around a little bit so what you could do here for example is just in the maps folder 
bring in the textures folder here like so and then bring in the i3ds where your map i3d is so we can bring all of that over as one like so and just delete that folder now i always like to put stuff in a separate folder on my desktop so i can work with it separately to the map folder structure and that way like i said before if it all goes wrong i don't have to delete the whole map and start again i can just delete what i've broken here if you like and just re-export it again um, so now that i have that i can open up this version the fs19 version in the appropriate editor and just import it so i'm just go file import again make sure i'm in the right folder here street pack and there we go we have the street pack imported into the map and looking at that it's positioned it exactly where it needed to be so that's the street pack and the roads all brought in exactly where they need to be all set up in the map don't need to mess about with anything there at all fantastic so that's looking really really good okay so that's just you know simple straightforward nothing too fancy there didn't have to make any massive changes to anything um, and i can definitely work with that so once we've done that we go ahead and save again updating the i3d to introduce all the new parameters for our models and whatever else and this now should have given me a shapes folder which or shapes file which it has fantastic because i've now added some parts into the map which have got their own geometry it gives me a shapes file as well so that's working really 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 well and i can go ahead and delete those i3d and i3d shapes for the roads because they no longer require those uh, and that's all good so fantastic just get rid of all of that and then you just keep going through like this so the next thing then is to Go back to the 17 version find the next part that you want to bring out so you might want to what's that okay so we've got some sort of uh dirt decal thing here for bumpy roads i guess that is um, again it looks like they are not necessarily in one transform group which is going to make it a little bit harder but okay is that it might okay let's have a look what we've got so objects and there's loads of them so we've got some uh, parts there some decals okay so there's quite a lot there so what i would do potentially here then is Let's just see what that one is. Okay. Okay, so I can work with that. That's fine. So we've got our dirt road here, which is what I selected before on its own. We've got a dirt road track hit or some kind there so we can select that one perhaps and then try and find well we can work with work with what we've got i guess so it might just be easier to go down and export them individually as we go through so i think what i'm going to do is instead of trying to jump about up and down the scene graph here i'm just going to work down it now you may find that when you do this you'll be exporting one thing uh, like this is just going to export a dirt road of some kind dirt track road here but you know um, i think if i start to work down and uh, you know select multiple things and whatever else i'm going to lose where i am in the scene graph and end up exporting multiples of the same thing uh, so i think that's what I, that's the way i'm going to work with it um, a little bit more time consumed potentially to start with but uh, I think it will be beneficial in the end. So again, like I did before, I'm just going to take the name. doesn't really matter. Um, and then we'll just export that. I'm going to put it out on my desktop again. Uh, maybe I won't. No, I will put it on my desktop. I, d I like to do it this way uh, simply because if there, if there are some issues with shaders and 
textures and various different things bringing them over to 19 again I can work with them easier here in a separate folder without messing up the uh, map folder structure and other things like that so let's open this up and just see what it looks like yeah this one has got really you know it's all metallic-y and <clears throat> messed up so what I need to do here is change some parts you can see uh, let's see if it's got a shader no it does not so what I'm going to need to do there is just change both the metalness and the smoothness for both of those to zero and that will then bring it back to something a little bit closer to what it should be uh, because these don't have gloss maps on them um, which is a good thing in a way because of the way uh, things have changed with this new UDIM thing system um, <clears throat> and the shaders have changed and whatever else converting stuff over to 19 can be a bit weird when it has gloss maps because they are now applied differently with the new type shaders so uh, this is actually going to work slightly better for me but if you do get that that uh, metallic -y look to it just change your smoothness and your metalness down to zero and you'll be good to go now obviously if it is something you want to look metallic you can mess about with the uh, parameters here and just change them um, to something that's going to look okay for you that that may come into effect later on in the video series i might have to do that but uh, for now i'm just going to set them to zero so it actually looks like a dirt road and not a uh, a metal road <laughs> or whatever uh, so we'll go ahead and save that i'm going to save it this time because obviously i've had to make changes so i'll close that one down and then what i can do is go back into the 19 version of the map uh, and just drag them in so we'll just drag all of that over like so and we want to merge the, sh the textures folder and we'll open up the map for 19 version again And you will need to do quite a lot of this backwards and forwards stuff. Uh, so we'll go desktop FS19 Thornbrook and we'll bring in the road which is over there. Okay. And like I say before, it positions it where it needs to be. So I haven't changed any of the attributes here. So everything is where it, where it was on the uh, 17 version. So that's great. So we'll go ahead and save. Now obviously the scene graph when I've finished is not going to match uh, the setup for 17 but as long as you bring in whatever you choose to bring in in your conversion um, then you know it doesn't really matter the placement here is not necessarily going to matter that much. So I'll go ahead and save that and we'll move on to the next part. Um, what I might do is just minimize this for now so I have to keep reopening folders and we'll do this next one so we have a gate of some description. Again, this is just a gate on its own but you know it is what it is so what's that that's a building of some description so yeah I'm going to work with these things separately I think that's probably a better way of doing it like I said before so we'll take this one again I'm just going to create a new folder on my desktop here so file export selection with files I'll go to the desktop That can be deleted, we'll do that in a minute. So we'll create a new folder and we'll put that into there. And this one, it looks like it may have some shaders on it. So let's delete that one. So, yes, we do have some shaders. We've got a vehicle shader. Now the rough cube, that is not supported. The cube maps are no longer su supported for 19. They're done differently now. So when you actually work with this, you're going to need to adapt that and delete the actual um, file ID for the rough cube and delete the reflection map in the materials. Otherwise, it won't work properly. Uh, the vehicle shader hmm, might need to work with something different there. Uh, what I'm going to do is let's have a look in here. Shaders vehicle shader so we might need to work with the fs17 uh, support shader so <clears throat> for that what i'm probably going to do here 
is bring in these shaders to the map folder and then rename them uh, so they work a little bit easier so uh, let's have a look what we've got might uh, bring both of those in perhaps maybe the shaders and the shared folder yeah now I did actually come across a problem with a shader um, because I don't have the Steam version of the game I have a disc version so I've got the collector's edition when I actually worked with another map that I'm converting over from 17 to 19 and I had a friend look at it uh, to give me his opinion on what I've done so far it gave him an error to do with a shader because I was linking that path file name back to my installation folder and because I don't have Steam his path file name was look was was different it was actually looking in his steam folder for the shader um, whereas obviously mine is not in the steam folder so you have to be a little bit careful with shaders and the the way where you actually point the uh, path file name to so for this what I'm going to do is like I say take these two files from my installation folder for farms in 19 I'm going to make a copy of those I'm going to, then what I'm going to do is put them into the FS19 version of the map so I'm going to paste them into there like so and I'll just change some path file names and things like that later on uh, I think that potentially will be a little bit easier so uh, what I'm going to do then is if I open up the shaders folder here I'm going to change the names here of these like so you don't have to do this this is just something I'm going to do I don't want them to be called FS17 support shaders. So we'll just change these. Now, not all of these will be necessarily required, uh, but uh, again, that's something you're going to need to work with. Now, the ocean shader, potentially I won't need that one, but um, we'll keep it there for now and uh, just work with it. Now, if you really want to get into all of the um, UDIM stuff, then you're going to need to potentially um, play around with a lot more than, you know, I'm willing to do in a video series. Uh, so I'm just going to use these FS17 support shaders to make it a little bit quicker. Um, and then what I'll do is <clears throat> I'll just change the path file name here to point to this folder for the vehicle shader and hope that that works so in here I'm going to put in maps and then shaders and then vehicle shader and we'll open that up in the um, yeah what we'll do then is let's take all of that and cut it and we'll put it into this one Thornbrook maps Let's put that into there. So we'll do like so. And then I'm going to need to change that again. Because it's no longer. There's a lot of this backwards and forwards stuff you're going to need to do. Especially when shaders and things like that are involved. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll open this up in the appropriate editor. And just see what that looks like. We've got no errors. So that's a good start. So let's have a look what we've got. Let's click off of that. Yeah, that looks okay. So with this particular case, we have got a glass, we have got a normal, and we are using, and we're not using a shader. Yes, we are using a shader. Okay, so that is, yep, that's linked in perfectly. Excellent. So that's fine. All of those parts are okay. And because I brought the shared folder over, it's also looking in the appropriate folder for the dirt normal of PNG as well. Excellent. Magic. So that's good. We've got no errors in there. So I can go ahead and close that one down. Don't need to save it. And I can then bring that into the map. So making sure I'm in the right map here. File, import, desktop, FS19, 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 Thornbrook, maps, and gate. And we'll just have a look at that. Yeah, magical. That looks good. Okay, excellent. So we've got that all sorted out. Uh, so that's half an hour. I'm going to end the video here. And then we'll just continue on with this. Uh, I might do some time-lapse stuff, I'm not sure. I really want to show you guys everything that I'm going to be doing here, so I'm not really sure I'm going to work this yet. 
Uh, I think this is going to be quite an involved long series, um, but I want to keep the video somewhat shorter, like I said before in part one or beginning of this video. I forget what I do say sometimes. Um, but nonetheless, um, I'm going to end it here and then we'll continue on in the next part. So I'm Shell Wizard. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.